The Adobe Video World 2020 conference is coming up in September, so if you're interested in becoming an Adobe Certified Professional in Premiere Pro or After Effects, now is your chance. Tickets will get you access to prep courses and the exams, and everything is entirely online. Now, I've partnered up with Future Media Conferences to offer you a 10% discount, so follow the discount link in the video description to find out more. Howdy everyone, I'm Boone. Today I'm gonna to show you my freebies and tutorial roundup for August 2020. And if you're not subscribed to the newsletter and you wanna get these updates straight to your inbox, be sure to go to boonlosvideo.com slash newsletter and drop your email in there. And if you wanna not listen to me ramble on and on, you wanna get straight to the freebies and the tutorials, go to this time. So yeah, I've been super busy. I just moved into a new house here in France about a month and a half or two months ago. And then my second child was born about a week ago. His name is Arthur. He's an awesome, chill little baby. And I hope he stays chill. Also about a month or two ago, my website finally took a crash and I lost pretty much everything. So I've switched services. I was using WordPress and Bluehost and I've switched over to Wix because um, Wix is just more user friendly and plug and play. So I'm gonna give that a try. So I've been moving all my premium products over there and I'm getting everything set back up. So um, bear with me. But one thing that I did do is I moved all of my freebies and I am moving currently all of my freebies over to a Gumroad account. So if you wanna go check that out, it's gumroad.com slash video. And in the future, all of my premium products and freebies are gonna go on there as well as um, the premium products will also go on my, my website, my e-store on my website. And you can actually name a fair price for all the freebies. So if you feel like donating and helping out the channel, that is awesome. And I just wanna to say to everyone that's already donated this month, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I got a lot of donations um, that I, I was really actually pretty shocked but i um, very happy to see that so many of you, even, even you know, just throwing in a dollar for something really, really helps and I really appreciate it. So anything you can do really helps. Also, I'm thinking um, I'm gonna have a page here that's going to link to all the freebies. I'm gonna create like a master list. So to keep everything simple and if you think you missed something, I'm gonna just put together a list on boonlosvideo.com slash freebies. It's gonna show all my blog entries that are under the category freebie. And it's also just gonna have a straight text list of um, links of every freebie that I've ever created. So if you just wanna go check that out and see if you might have missed something and you wanna download everything really quickly, all those links will take you to the specific Gumroad pages where I've uploaded those elements. All right, let's get into it. So last month, I shared a Blender course from Euchre Media. If you don't know Euchre Media, they're an amazing company. They have a great YouTube channel with, with a bunch of really great resources. They do a lot of After Effects related content and tutorials, specifically on expressions. I've learned so much from them about expressions. And in fact, they have a premium course about expressions that I'm currently taking. I haven't finished it, but uh, I've just been learning so much. In fact, my latest tutorial on my channel, I've been using some of the things that I learned from that course, and it's really, really amazing. I can't wait to dive deeper into that. And eventually, I wanna get around to learning how to use Blender, and I know that this Euchre Media course is going to uh, be very good for that. So if you're interested in learning Blender, go check that out. Motion Array has some shifter transitions that are now available for free. All of the freebies from Motion Array are always great. In fact, you can set up a free Motion Array account and use their free extension, which works both in Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro, and you can download a handful of their free assets from their site there, so go check that out. I did a whole uh, sponsored blog entry and video for them showing their free extension, so um, be sure to go check that out. And if you wanna set up, if you like Motion Array and you wanna set up a, uh, a premium account, I also have a link available for you, an affiliate link, so if you could go use that, I'll link to that in the video description. I found some assets, uh, they're coronavirus icons, so if you're working on any coronavirus related content and you wanna use some elements, if, let's say you're creating some infographics or something, these free icons will be able to help you out, so uh, go check those out. Now, as I mentioned before, I've set up this new Gumroad account and I'm uploading all my freebies and retroactively trying to upload everything. You know, I have like 150, over 150 tutorials now and all of those tutorials had links to different freebie assets, so I'm trying to go back into that library and connect everything and re-share uh, those links that link to these Gumroad accounts because everything's linking back to my old website and I'm sure there's a ton of people out there 
um, being linked to, to dead pages. So I'm trying to get those set up. So let's go through what I've got on there now. I've got my Instagram export presets for Adobe. Those work in Adobe Premiere Pro, but they work in Adobe Media Encoder, which also means you can use those in Adobe After Effects. So to use them in After Effects, when you take a comp and you add it to the Adobe uh, Media Encoder, then you're gonna be able to have access to these export presets in their dropdown menus in there. I have a free YouTube subscribe button overlay. So this is essentially just like an animated YouTube subscribe button. Uh, with an alpha channel. So if you're using a video editing software that accepts alpha channels, this will work for you. And um, it's become quite popular. I think the video for this uh, has like almost 350,000 views. So a lot of people have downloaded this, a lot of people like it. And um, this is one of those freebies that a lot of people are donating for. So thank you. Everyone that's donated um, for this particular product really helps. And for the Instagram export presets, I saw a couple of you actually gave me $10 for that thing. So, poof. Thank you. I also have a YouTube subscribe button Mogurt template that is specifically for Adobe Premiere Pro. And what's so cool about this particular product is I designed it in After Effects to be responsive. So when you're inside of Premiere and you have, and you're, you can change the size of the text or the size of the bell icon, and you can actually change the text and everything, uh, everything automatically adjusts. So the background and everything. So if you resize the bell icon, the background will adjust automatically and it's not gonna overlap like some messy Mogur templates out there do. So go check that out. And the cool thing is if you're working in another language and you wanna type out subscribe in another language, you're gonna be able to do that with this Mogur template. Or if you just wanna put your channel name in or whatever, whatever text you wanna put in there. Both the Mogur templates and the YouTube subscribe button overlay have premium product versions. So if you like those freebies and you wanna get more, there's links in those freebies to check out the premium versions of those products. I have some basic backgrounds in After Effects. I made a tutorial a while ago about how to use repeaters and basic shape elements to create these cool backgrounds. There's eight free textures. There's a tutorial I did a while ago, um, I think a couple of years ago now. And I went around and took some pictures. It was pretty fun and um, used these and blended these pictures of these textures in with these graphic elements. And on that specific tutorial, I show you how to create like this passport effect. So I created um, some passport graphic elements and then I blended it with one of these photograph textured elements. You can go check out the tutorial to see how I did that. And I think there's a project file available as well as all the images that I took. I also have project files available for download for my animated map marker tutorial, my 3D animated map marker tutorial. Uh, my Create Circular Logos in After Effects. That's a really fun tutorial. It didn't get a lot of views. So if you haven't seen that already, that's, um, that's a pretty fun one. If you're creating like logos or any kind of infographics, um, I highly recommend that tutorial. There's a, a project file available for uh, simple radar blips. So those are like these uh, circular shape elements that um, are doing these, they have like a loop expression on them and so they just continually uh, blink. I think I'm eventually gonna make some um, a premium version of those radar blips. And most recently I created a tutorial about how to create these flickering opacity transitions in Adobe After Effects, and I used a lot of those expressions that I told you I learned in Euchre Media's expression, premium expression course. But I created animation presets that are available for free download. Um, there's four different ones that I created, and so the opacity essentially flickers on, and it'll, it'll stay at either 25%, 50%, 75%, or 100% opacity. These don't specifically work on a lot of elements, but if you go check out the tutorial, it, it works in um, the map element animation that I was creating. It's really fun. Okay, Whew. that's a lot of stuff. Okay, tutorials for August. There's quite a few here, and I might have missed some. So go to my YouTube channel to make sure you don't miss anything. And hey, while you're there, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell. And then First up, I did a basic screen replacements tutorial with reflections, how to do this in Adobe After Effects using the Mocha plugin, which is available for free. So yeah, this is a really cool tutorial. And most tutorials that you see on YouTube about how to do screen replacements like this don't show you how to maintain or keep your reflections. It's a pretty uh, kind of complicated, um, not really complicated, but it's a, couple, a few extra steps that allow you to um, maintain those reflections. However, the cool thing is it's gonna give you a lot of versatility because you can totally isolate those reflections, which means you can control the opacity. So if the reflections are too strong, you can bring them down to like 50, 25% opacity. You can animate them in and out. 
you can do whatever you want with them. Really, really cool technique. Go check that out. I did a piece on six ways to draw attention on screen. This is different film composition uh, techniques and um, you know how to draw someone's eye and bring you know using depth of field. Really fun uh, cinematography tutorial. I've been doing some deep diving into expressions as I mentioned earlier. So I just put together a tutorial. Uh, it's kind of a roundup on five resources for learning expressions in Adobe After Effects. There's one uh, free course in there. You can watch the course for free on YouTube. And if you want to download the project files, I think uh, you have to pay $10 to get the project files. But wow, it's really, really amazing. I highly recommend it. And the other four resources in there are all premium resources. You have the Power of Expression book from amyscripts.com. You have Euchre Media's expression course, which I'm currently taking right now. And then you have uh, the School of Motion, the big one. I think it's called Expression Session. And then Motion Design School has one. I did a review of Monkey Wipes. This is Transitions on Steroids for Adobe After Effects. This is a pretty uh, deep script or plugin. And if you check out the interface, there's just a ton of parameters. But if you're interested in getting this, don't let that scare you off. It's really simple to use if you want it to be simple. If you just want to gener generate random transitions for your assets, you can. However, if you want to get more specific in like the shapes and how you want them to transition, you can do tons of customization options. And obviously, this is a, this is a really high quality product from some creators. Uh, Dan Eberts, I think is his name, Dan Eberts. He's known for his motion script website. He's like an expressions god. So you know you're getting a good product when you buy a monkey product. So I did a piece for my Monday Maps series called Give Your Maps a Paper Texture in Adobe After Effects. So I took like a screenshot of a Google map and I show you how to use displacement maps to create um, a fake like 3D look. I used textures from a premium product called PQ Grit, Ki blah, blah, blah. PQ Grit Kit 2, a very cool product from a um, Go check that out, and, and if you want, there's an affiliate link for those as well in the description. I reviewed Shadow Studio from Plugin Everything. This allows you to add amazing shadows quickly to elements in Adobe After Effects. You can do long shadows, you can do, um, you know, Creating shadows generally in Adobe After Effects can be pretty render intensive and there's not a lot of easy ways to do it. So with this, um, it's really, really, really easy. And in fact, they have some uh, user animation presets, four of them specifically, that are just drag and drop. So go check out that tutorial. I show you how to use them. Specifically, the radial long shadows are, are, are two thumbs up. I did my first collab. I've never collabed with another channel. Um, I collabed with the famous Premiere gal, Kelsey. And we did a piece on four Instagram tools for Adobe Premiere Pro users. Um, three of those Instagram tools are my own tools that I've created. And the other one was from a tutorial that Premiere Gal did um, from a company called Mixkit that has, I think it's like 45 free templates, Mogret templates for Instagram. So you can bring those in Premiere Pro and they allow you to really quickly create an aesthetic without having to figure out the design and um, obviously with Mogart templates, they're, they're really fast. You can bang something together real quick. And um, thank you, Premier Gal, for collabing with me. We did another piece for her channel about map animations and working with map elements for Envato Elements and, and inside of Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. So that should be coming out soon. Um, if you want to check that out, go just go over, subscribe to Premier Gal's channel if you're not already. You probably already are. She has a lot of subscribers. I took my Ursa Mini Pro G2 this camera i took that out and i show you in this video why it's a documentary dream camera which it is i show you the accessories that i'm using and i'm showing you a few reasons why that that camera um, if you're making documentaries is a really really awesome camera last but not least i did a flickering opacity transition tutorial for adobe after effects and again um, i made these animation presets so go over to the link in the video description. That'll take you to my Gumroad account. You can download this for free and check out that tutorial. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm making uh, some animated maps for another YouTuber named Jay Swanson. He's doing some tour guides in Paris and he wants to visualize all the different arrondissements uh, or the, the districts within Paris. And we wanted to have um, a cool way to animate them all in. So I was able to isolate all those elements using a tool called GeoLayers 3. And then I created um, uh, these cool animations, these randomized wiggle uh, opacity animations. So go check that out. You can see how I did it in the tutorial or you can just, if, 
if you don't like expressions because essentially in that tutorial I created all those using just expressions. They're all keyframeless animations. So go check that out. Or if you don't like expressions, just download those user presets and have fun. Oh my gosh, this is a long video. So yeah, go check out my Gumroad uh, account, gumroad.com slash video. Again, all my freebies are gonna be on there in the future. And I'm still trying to figure out how I wanna do it. If I wanna post freebie roundups on my blog, I'm probably not going to. I'm pr they'll probably only be on the YouTube channel and in the newsletter. So be sure you subscribe to one of those two if you wanna keep getting those notifications. So on the YouTube channel, hit that notification bell if you want the notifications. Or just drop your email in that uh, boonlessvideo.com slash newsletter. Uh, I need sleep. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, uh, yeah.